Idalia is now a hurricane and is expected to rapidly intensify before making its way into the Sunshine State of Florida. Many watches and warnings are in place and we also have a tropical wave that is on its way into the Caribbean. Now this wave is sustaining substantial activity and will be bringing rainfall to some areas. Additionally, there is a disturbance off the coast of Africa as well as 92L popping back up on the map and we've also got Hurricane Franklin which will be making its close approach to Bermuda and before I go into details please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update okay now we're going on to this map here coming from the national hurricane center and we can see that we've got our different systems highlighted so we've got two disturbances that new tropical wave off the coast of africa might develop it's given a 50 percent chance to do so as of right now and then there is invest 92l which has popped back up on the map so it is producing some substantial thunderstorms and might try to get itself together but as of now given a pretty low chance to do so we've also got hurricanes idalia and Franklin and we will be going into some details now. So we're starting out with Franklin and here we can see the cyclone. It is looking pretty massive out there. Not the biggest hurricane but it is a very powerful one with winds up to 140 miles per hour and it is going to be making its close approach to the island of Bermuda. So let's go ahead and take a look at the cone forecast. There we can see the small island which is under watch right now. So uh, Franklin has started weakening and it had peaked with winds of 100 and 50 miles per hour that isn't far from category 5 status so franklin had uh become a strong a very strong category 4 hurricane and uh still is it's lost 10 miles per hour but it is moving to the north northeast at 9 miles per hour so as we head into tomorrow it's going to be passing by bermuda possibly bringing some uh tropical storm conditions there those tropical storm force winds some periods of heavy rainfall even resulting in that storm surge but as it makes its way further to the northeast it will increase in latitude and thus uh, the conditions will get increasingly unfavorable to see any sorts of re-intensification so it's only going to gradually dissipate as we progress into the end of this week and going into the early part of next week now go into the vicinity of the caribbean here we can see all of this thunderstorm activity which is already affecting some islands such as Barbados, the Grenadines, Grenada, St. Vincent, Trinidad, Tobago. Uh, so all of this is in association with a tropical wave and it is moving in. So it could continue to help to uh, increase all that rainfall activity across the islands of the Eastern Caribbean mostly the windward islands so unfortunately as we head further up north not as much rainfall activity as likely but for the windward islands this is a huge relief i've been seeing the comments from you guys expressing that uh discomfort with the heat so here we have this sort of relief and hopefully it's not going to be too intense to the point where these uh rainfall these heavy rainfall events trigger flash flooding because especially a lot of water in a very short amount of time can do that so hopefully that won't be the case but should in case that actually happens please do not take any unnecessary risks and take the necessary precautions for most other areas it has been a pretty calm morning nothing much happening beautiful sunshine as well for many of us and then as we head further to the west there we have hurricane idalia and uh, over in the Western Caribbean as well, there's still a lot of moisture that has been induced by the hurricane. And there could still be some periods of heavy rainfall across uh, parts of Cuba, heading to the Cayman Islands, even uh, in the vicinity of the Yucatan. But as we look to Hispaniola, Jamaica, most of Cuba going up to the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, we don't see much happening. So uh, much, nothing crazy is going on in the area right now. But as we go on to the cone forecast, here we are. And Idalia is sustaining winds of 75 miles per hour so it is a category one hurricane and it is moving up to the north at 14 miles per hour so it's not moving very quickly nor very slowly somewhat of a moderate pace and it is likely going to be making landfall tomorrow morning and uh it is going to be bringing deadly impacts life-threatening impacts the storm surge the heavy rainfall the very strong winds and even the possibility of tornadoes is going to be increasing for Florida as the cyclone approaches but impacts will be felt from today because those bands will be making their way in bringing some periods of intermittent showers and even uh, those gusty winds at times and so 
now this morning is the time to finalize preparations and getting ready to hunker down to ride out the storm. Hopefully you're in a safe location and I hope that everyone is going to be okay when Idalia passes because it is likely to become a category three hurricane, a major hurricane upon landfall because it is going to be in a conducive environment and that will likely allow for such rapid intensification to take place. So the Big Bend area is going to be feeling the worst of it. And uh, that is why we see that hurricane warning, which is in red, being in effect. Also for Pinar del Rio in Cuba, there is that hurricane warning as well, which should eventually be discontinued as we head to later today. Alif Youth under a tropical storm warning, which is in blue. So that should also be discontinued as Idalia accelerates further and further from the area. But conditions will be deteriorating as we head into later today for Florida. And eventually other states such as Georgia and and the Carolinas could feel impacts from this, but not anything near as strong as what the Gulf Coast is expected to experience because once Idalia moves in, it is going to be cut off from its source of fuel and energy, thus rapidly weakening. However, will still be a very dangerous situation, especially in terms of all that moisture it is going to be carrying along with it. A lot of heavy rainfall will be possible across some areas. And so what happens to it afterwards? Well, some models want to have this curve in back uh, in and potentially make it a second landfall in Florida. Let's look at the model track guidance here and we can see that they're very tight uh, for the next couple of days. They're very, very tight, which indicates pretty good consensus on the track of the system. So thankfully, they're not all over the place, causing a lot of conf uh, causing a lot of confusion. We're pretty much solid on this right now, but then we see these kind of going off in all sorts of direction as there is uncertainty about what will happen as we head to the latter part of this week. But I will be keeping you guys posted on all of that and here we have a map of the sea surface temperatures we can see just how warm things are bubbling in the eastern gulf of mexico right now uh, where we see some of those uh, pink shades as well that is crazy and it does not take long for a storm to jump in category i mean look at franklin yesterday it had winds of around 115 miles per hour and around four hours later those winds were 145 miles per hour so it does not take a long time for rapid intensification to take place i really hope that no one is downplaying the situation because it is very much serious and uh, those dangerous impacts will be unfolding and so that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you guys in this update and i hope that you found it to be quite informative so again we've got our two tropical waves out there one of which is marked as a disturbance to be watched uh, for potential development we've also got that wave about to enter the caribbean that will bring some well-needed uh rainfall and cooler temperatures to parts of the southeastern islands and there is also invest 92l which has popped back up it might try to develop quickly into something but it has a very very uh, very limited time to do so and the chance is also pretty low right now at 30 percent additionally we've got our two hurricanes franklin which will be making this close approach to the island of bermuda and then uh, there is also idalia which is going to be closing in on florida as we head into tonight and into tomorrow morning and so if you have any questions please do leave them down in the comments i will respond to you once i get the chance to do so and as always remember to be weatherwise